we've come to the point in our service where we go to God in prayer. And so I invite you to pray with me, take a posture that makes sense for you, whether that's open hands to receive, um, to give your requests to God, to hold your own heart, um, or to pray as we've been used to. Let's pray together. God, creator, you are steady, faithful, perseverant, and kind, pursuing us with your love. Jesus, risen one, you are challenging, inviting and warm and kind, inviting us to know death and sacrifice to find life. Spirit, helper, you are guiding, transforming, nurturing, you bear our wounds, and you fertilize that which grows in us, love, kindness, patience, self-control. We come to you this morning grateful to be alive and all, for all the surprises in our lives, for the wonder of life, the intricacies of our body, and the way it fights to be alive, the joy of connecting with others, of being known and heard, for work to do, gardens and fields to be planted, and nature to play in, for mothers and women who keep and guard us, hug us, and remind us of our belovedness, for kids who spur us to joy and delight, who challenge and change us. We are grateful for rain to refresh the earth and sun to warm it and our skin. For deep sleep, things to learn and candles to light. For the promise of your presence and wisdom in all circumstances. For forgiveness received and given, provision and help extended and accepted. We dare, we dare to find delight and joy in our ordinary lives, even in this time. And yet... Even in this time, we struggle, and so we say with the psalmist, Lord, in you we seek refuge. Incline your ear to us, rescue us, be a rock of refuge for us, a strong fortress to save us, lead us and guide us for your name's sake. Walk with us in the valley. We pray for those who are distressed, depressed, living in isolation and fear here and around the world. For those in pain, who are sick, who are struggling with their continuing health concerns, who are one of the many experiencing COVID-19. We pray for those who are missing friends, social activities, team sports, and coffee dates. For those at home trying to figure out what to do and what to leave undone. For business owners making hard decisions and struggling to stay, keep their business afloat. For women and kids for whom Mother's Day is hard. For those who are pregnant or who are about to give birth in this moment of history. For women everywhere who struggle to take up their place in this world, who find it difficult to trust their own belovedness. For those who are hungry, who have no work to go to, who don't know where to find money for the bills. For those mourning loved ones, mourning dreams that are further out than they anticipated, who are mourning the loss of so many small daily things. For farmers and greenhouse workers as they till and plant and prepare for another season. For teachers, healthcare workers, government leaders, mental health professionals, truck drivers, delivery services, and everyone else who is working hard on the front lines at this time. For all of them, Lord, we ask that you would grant them what they stand in need of. May they be mindful of your grace at work always, your constant presence, even in the awful and horrible times. May they know your sustaining presence and your care in this world. In this moment, we confess that we experience anger, frustration, uncertainty, and a lack of control. Help us to be gentle with ourselves. Help us to cast our fears on you and to be mindful that even in the darkest of times, there are wonders to be known. God, we are worshiping separately, not just from other churches today, but also from each other. And so we lift up your people in every place. We will take some time, some time in silence where you can lift up the prayers that you know of in the community. Lord, we pray that you would continue to renew our imaginations, give us strength and courage and wisdom, the boldness that is needed for our time, and the ability to find that which brings us joy and delight. We pray too for the church around the world, for the church in West Africa, in Senegal, for Classis Quinty, for Faith Fellowship CRC and Fair, in Fairview, for Bethel CRC in Lacombe, for the Hospitality Committee here at Woody Nook, and uh, for Sean and Becky Folkerts with name. Lord, we ask that you would continue to um, inspire your church to care for our neighbors, to 
continue to grow in faith and that Holy Spirit, you would continue to bring transformation to our lives and to our world. God, we trust that and know that you have been faithful to us in the past, that you have been faithful to us in this present moment, even today perhaps. And so we trust you to be faithful to us in the future. We hold our concerns before you and we ask, Lord, that you would continue to meet us where we are. We need you now as we have needed you every day. We cannot live without you. And so we trust in you. In your name we pray. Amen. We will now, uh, now is the time for the offering. Um, We are a church not just when we gather, but also we gather so that we can be scattered. And we find ourselves scattered right now into the world all the time to do the work God has called us to. And one of the ways that we do the work of God is by our generosity of time and resources to help spread God's care in the world. And our generosity is also a way of saying thank you, of recognizing our dependence on God, of recognizing that the economy of God is that those who have much give to those who have little. And so we invite you to give as you feel led. You can do that online or um, you can look on the bridge to find instructions for that. Um, You can also give of your time, your energy, your abilities. And so we just um, ask you to take some time to discern what that might be in this moment. Um, Our offerings are for the Capital Fund and for Lacombe Christian School.